what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in today's video i'm going to be sharing some news i found out today about the jeepers creepers franchise and the future of what's to come so it appears that jeepers creepers 4 isn't something that we could potentially be getting in the near future in fact jeepers creepers 4 seems to not even be something victor salva is considering anymore uh today i was actually sent a few messages from someone who is close to victor salva they know him on a personal level i'm not going to share the the name of this person in this video so if you're looking for the name of this person i'm not going to share that with you for personal reasons i'm gonna, just going to read some of the messages he sent me also if you want to see pick a picture of one of the messages that was sent you can look at the um, you can go into my the description of my video and go on to my Instagram page where I posted a, a photo prior to posting this video uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and read one of the questions that were at that was asked to this person it says okay how good are the scripts and what do you think the budget would be and what will it be about the person that's close to Victor says he told me he didn't want to do the origin story in the lowest budget film of the series. I think he's not interested in doing another movie. Just the show. He got screwed on part three. I'm not sure of the whole story, but it definitely has its touches, but it doesn't feel like his film. It's not good overall. The pros don't outweigh the cons. This person is referencing uh, the disaster that was Jeepers Creepers 3 because Jeepers Creepers 3 was a film that had been in and fans have been anticipating the film for 15 years today in fact is actually the 15th anniversary since Jeepers Creepers 2 uh, it was nice to finally see that we did get a follow-up 14 years later but it wasn't in fact a follow-up this movie took place in between Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2 and it followed a task force who was hell-bent on destroying the creeper before the end of its 23-day feeding frenzy that was one of the official synopsis for the film Trish Jenner is returns in this film, played by Gina Phillips again. She doesn't have a major role in it. She's the narrator, and then she's exposed at the very end, 23 years later, and she's prepared for the creeper, and she's ready to get revenge for it, taking her brother all those years ago. Uh, another message I'm going to go ahead and read. So uh, let me talk about what this guy said in this message here. He's He said... He says Victor told him that he didn't want to do the origin story with the lowest budget film of the series. So Victor Salva himself does not want to give the best with such low with such a low uh, budget to work off of. So that's kind of why Jeepers Creepers 3, because like I said, I, I don't know if I made this clear in my last video. This wasn't even all on Victor. Victor wants to do the best he can with this series, but of course his past is not allowing him to. And he didn't want to do the cathedral script, which if you want the cathedral script, I will actually, I actually have the cathedral script. So if you want, uh, it's posted online somewhere. I can send a link to the cathedral script down in the comment section. You just have to comment if you want that. It's online somewhere. I just have to find it and I'll post a link to it. He actually wants to do a full budget film, not something that's Michael Bay esque budget or anything nothing over the top nothing over a hundred million but somewhere around what the first two movies were like 10 million to 17 million uh that's what victor wants to ultimately do might may, he probably wants to do something a bit a bit higher just a bit higher than what jeepers creepers 3 was because apparently jeepers creepers 3 was working with a budget of four million dollars which is the lowest in the series and victor didn't want to spend time focusing on the origins of the creeper in in an entry that had the weakest budget out of the three um, so what Victor Salva is instead focusing on now is this TV series. Now, if you recall in my last Jeepers Creepers video, I would, I told, I talked to you guys and told you that my, that a friend of mine met Victor Salva over the summer and he sat down with him and he got some details on this. Victor Salva apparently told him that there were still plans to do a fourth film. Uh, but I guess Victor Salva isn't quite too sure because now a person who is actually who knows him on a personal level And the reason I know that this person knows him on a personal level is because I did look the page up on Facebook And I saw that he had a few pictures of him him and Victor in in a more personal setting One picture I think was in a living room and the other one was him and Victor sitting down 
um, at a restaurant eating food together. Now, he could also just be someone who worked on Jeepers Creepers 3 and then him and Victor became good friends. But either way, this is like the uh, most reliable source because this guy actually has contact with Victor Salva. He says this information was given to him like last weekend. Victor Salva wants to stay passionate about this TV series. He doesn't want to focus too much on doing another film, it seems. Let me read another one of the questions he was asked. Um, he said... Someone asked him, they asked him how good the scripts were for the TV series. Because Victor Salva actually has finished writing the scripts for them. He responded saying, the scripts, what I've read, are good. I wouldn't want to make them if they weren't good. I don't know what the budget will be. Discussions haven't got that deep yet. But the so the t he's getting into details about the TV series now. It'll be about the county of Poho and the weird things that go on there. I've still got a handful of episodes to read, but I can't say much about it right now. So Victor Salva has actually given his friend copies of the TV series to read over. Oh, and this person, this person that's giving this information, he he is 100 percent someone uh, someone reliable because he actually is in. Uh, there's a Jeepers Creepers group chat on Facebook. There's a Jeepers Creepers group. It's ran by it's ran by one of the people who is uh, parents of one of the bikers in the third film. One of the bikers in the third film, their their uh, mother is one of the admins of this page. And then the group, another admin is, uh, I can't think of his name. I think it's, he's the nephew of Heather Langenkamp. If you're, if you're familiar with the Nightmare on Elm Street films, you know, Heather Langenkamp played Nancy in the original film in the third film, if I'm not mistaken. Her nephew was actually, apparently he was originally scheduled to be Derry in Jeepers Creepers 3 Cathedral when that film was getting ready to happen. Back when Jeepers Creepers 3 was going to take place 23 years later, this guy was one of the characters that had been casted to play. He had been casted to play the role of Derry, who would be playing. He would be playing the role of Trisha's son. That's the cast. That's the role he was playing, because he actually was the one that had a lot of information about what happened, what was going on with Jeepers Creepers 3, because he was involved with the original project when it was called Cathedral. He's another one of the admins in this page. Or in that group chat and the person who's been giving the information on the fourth film or the, the TV series to me he is also a member of that group he's been sharing this information in the group everyone has been asking him to provide valid evidence and he has done everything to provide valid evidence to show that he is legit um, again I'm not going to say his name for personal reasons I do not want him getting flooded with messages but yes he He's saying in this in this excerpt here, he's saying that the TV show is going to be about Poho County, or it's going to be set in Poho County, or it's going to be about, I guess, the Creepers' adventures in Poho County, whether it be of the past uh, or in the future. Now, what he also did mention is that this TV series is going to be set 23 years in the future after the first two films, so this... TV series is going to be the sequel that we ultimately wanted Jeepers Creepers 3 to be. This TV series is going to be that. Uh, yes, the TV series that Victor Salvo wants to do is going to be the real sequel that fans have been waiting for since Jeepers Creepers 2 came out in 2003. So with that information and knowing that it's going to be following Poho County or following something in Poho County that tells me that I'm hoping that Ray Wise can return to play the Taggart, Taggart farmer again. I hope Lou Edwards is able to return so he can get he can get a crack in. Um, I'm just hoping I'm just hoping everything Victor Salva wants to do with this TV series comes to light and that he can at least find some financing for it. I'm pretty sure uh, trying to find who's going to actually show the TV series is going to be something of a challenge. I don't think Victor Salva wants to direct it. Actually, another thing that his friend is mentioning here is that he has he's trying to get one of those. He's trying to he's trying to take the concept that Victor has sent him and he's trying to launch it as a pilot for a uh, for this TV series. He's trying to get it launched as a pilot. So he's trying to help Victor get this moving along. Um, I hope this happens. 
I would like to see it land on either Netflix or Hulu. That's just wishful thinking because I mean Netflix. I don't see why Netflix wouldn't. Uh, if Netflix doesn't wouldn't be willing to do the TV series, they're gonna get a lot of backlash because Netflix has been. They've had Jeepers Creepers three on on their uh, subscription lineup for several months now, almost up to a year. They've had Jeepers Creepers three on there ever since it came out last September. A few months later, it was on Netflix and it's been there ever since. It's been there all year. So for them to turn, if news comes out that they turned down uh, licenses or they turned down a distribution for a TV series, that's going to have a lot of people scratching their heads because why would you turn that down? But then you want to you want to broadcast Victor's movie for up to a year. That's kind of strange. I would like to see either land on Netflix or Hulu. Last resort I want to say would be Shutter. I don't think it's going to land on Shutter. I I highly see it either landing on Netflix. And then like a major, major last resort, of course, would be the Sci-Fi Network. If it lands on the Sci-Fi Network, that tells me that this is not going to be anything I should be getting too excited about. Uh, but I hope Victor can get get his vision put out to the public. I hope he can get this. I hope he can turn these scripts into something that we can visibly see on screen for the entertainment for our entertainment purposes so that we can sit down and finally learn what the Creeper is. Where did it come from? We can learn a few things about the Creeper's past. We can see Trish Jenner come back, Gina Phillips. We can see Ray Wise, possibly a cameo from Justin Long. And when I say a cameo, I don't mean bring Justin Long in because Justin Long is too old to play that role. They could probably slide in a few clips from the first two films or from the first film uh, or some of the deleted scenes that because they have deleted scenes that they didn't use in Jeepers Creepers. So maybe they could throw some of that in. I just want to see Jeepers Creepers end in a way that gives a series closure, whether it's with another film or with a TV series. I don't really care at this point. I just want to get closure on this series because, honestly, Jeepers Creepers was supposed to be a done deal back in 2006. Jeepers Creepers 3 was supposed to have been out. Jeepers Creepers 3 was originally, originally scheduled to come out in 2006. It was going to end the series. It was going to be set 23 years later. It was all set in stone, and then there was a lot of problems started arising with MGM. Victor's past started becoming more of an issue with the studios and everyone involved. So, yeah, I just hope this series can get the closure that I feel it deserves and that, that I feel the fans deserve on it. Let me know what you guys think about this video down in the comment section below. Turn on post notifications so you never miss future videos.